Not many people would volunteer to be deliberately infected with the coronavirus. But Connor Barnes has signed up and he's not expecting to get paid for it. I value people. I hate the idea of millions or billions of people suffering. And I, to me, this seems like an effective way to uh, impact that. More than 20,000 people around the world have enrolled as volunteers for controlled human infection or challenge studies. Challenge studies are incredibly promising and powerful tools that can teach us a lot about infections that we don't already know. Typically, participants in clinical trials are given a possible vaccine or a placebo. Researchers then wait and see if anyone happens to come in contact with the virus. Many won't, so it takes years and thousands of participants to measure the safety and effectiveness of a vaccine. In a challenge study, a smaller number of carefully selected volunteers can intentionally be infected and offer faster results. But... It requires coming up with the right dose to give to people so that they do get infected, but that they don't get too sick. The approvals alone can take over six months, and it's an ethical dilemma. Controlled infections have helped find vaccines for illnesses like typhoid and cholera. But in the past, they've also killed vulnerable people and exposed others to harms without informed consent. While no challenge studies have been approved for COVID-19, the World Health Organization isn't ruling them out. People must be very clearly aware of what it is they're consenting to. And uh, the consent processes for human challenge studies should be exceptionally stringent. The most concerning part for me is uh, the fact that we don't know about long-term effects. Barnes still has reservations about being infected, but says if asked, He'll do what he thinks is right. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.